Um, this is a lovely gentle slow flow um, class. It's a really nice one to awaken yourself for the day in a gentle way. Um, but also if you wanted to watch this back on recording later, um, it's lovely to end the day with too. So we're going to begin this class with a bit of breath focus, calm ourselves down, find ourselves focused in the moment and starting on our back. So get comfortable in a supine position on your mat. You can have your knees bent, feet on the floor, legs extended wherever you need to be. Hands can go out to the side, palms up, palms down. Or even maybe place them on your stomach too. And just whenever you're ready, take a few deep breaths, breathing in through the nose and exhaling out through the mouth. And when you're drawing that breath in, really focus on drawing it down into the base of the stomach, filling up from the bottom first, so you should feel your stomach rise before your chest, layering that breath all the way up to the top of your collarbone, and then exhaling completely. And as you're exhaling, maybe pretend you're blowing out through a straw. Try and make that exhale a little bit longer. Take one more deep breath all the way in. Exhale completely. And then just gently bring your knees in toward your chest. You can hug them with both arms. You can rock from side to side, massage that lower back. Just enjoy that sensation at the base of your spine. Notice how your body's feeling and then take your hands to your knees and we'll begin to draw circles with the knees. So we're just slowly getting into the hips. Maybe five circles in one direction. They can be big, they can be small. And then five circles in the other direction. When you've done five circles in both directions, just gently bring your knees in toward your chest, hug them in tight again, maybe rock from side to side, enjoy that massage. And then we're going to inhale as we lift our nose towards our knees, squeezing the knees in tight towards the chest. Exhale to lower. We're going to do three of those. So inhale to lift, squeeze, exhale to lower, and relax. Last one, inhale to lift, squeeze, exhale to lower, and relax all the way down. Taking the hands out wide, now in a T-shaped position, palms facing down. Think about gluing those shoulders to the floor and then take the toes to the floor, keep the heels lifted. And we're just going to drop the knees from side to side for a few window wipers, opening up the shoulders and the chest, releasing off the spine and the lower back, massaging the hips and the glutes. One more each side. And then gently come all the way up to seated. Finding yourself in a seated position now on your mat. So option now, if you want to and it's in your practice, you can take half locus or full locus even. I'm gonna take my left foot, stack it on the, so bringing the sole of the foot up and taking the foot into the hip crease of my right leg. And thinking about actively pressing that knee away from the body. So I'm getting a bit of an ankle stretch in this as well. Meanwhile, with our upper body, we're going to take the hands, one hand goes up, so the right hand lifts, feeling that stretch in the right side of the body as you inhale, lift and reach, and as you exhale, take it all the way over to the left. Take three deep breaths. As you inhale, think about lifting up through that armpit, and as you exhale, think about reaching a little bit further. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then slowly inhale back to centre, switching over the arms. Inhale to lift and reach with the left arm up now, feeling that stretch in the left side body, and then exhaling as you reach all the way over to the right. Again, three deep breaths. Last 
Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale back to center. If you're in that half locus position or even full locus, we're going to switch the legs around. So the left leg is going to go under, right sole of the foot comes up into the hip crease of that left leg. And again, actively think about pressing that right knee toward the floor. From here, we're going to take a nice twist now. So you're going to inhale to lift and lengthen. Think about lifting through the crown of your head first. And then as you exhale, twist to look over your left shoulder. Look behind you, use the hands against your knee on the floor to help pull the body round. Three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you come back to center and switch sides. So exhale as you look over that right shoulder this time. Three deep breaths. From here, come all the way back to centre as you inhale, unravel the legs, and we're going to come onto our hands and knees. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and we're just going to take three cat cows. So really think about as you inhale, dipping the stomach towards the floor, pushing it. So use the muscles to push your tummy button down toward the floor, squeeze the shoulder blades together and look up towards the ceiling. Feel that arch position first, and then as you exhale, round through the spine, moving vertebrae by vertebrae, not fast. Pulling the shoulder blades apart, sucking the navel back and up and pressing the ground away. Tuck the chin towards your chest and look through the knees. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Last one each way. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Come back to centre, take the hands to the front two corners of the mat, tuck the toes, press up into down facing dog. So from here, as it's the first one of the day, think about spreading the fingers, pressing the chest through the arms, crown the head towards the floor, soften the knees, and just gently take a few pulses through the shoulders, pushing the crown of the head towards the floor, whilst thinking about extending through the tailbone up towards the ceiling. So find that nice, long, neutral spine. Open up the chest and the shoulders. This is brilliant for desk workers because we're reversing the effects of being hunched over a desk all day. And then whenever you're ready, just gently start to extend through the feet. So you're just going to pedal from side to side, walking that dog, pushing the heels towards the floor. You can come to still with your upper body, but keeping that length in the spine as you do this. And more importantly, think about keeping a broad upper back as you do this as well. Support your scapula, support your upper back, support your shoulders. Take a few more deep breaths. And then from here, we're going to take a body flow. So just come back to neutral in your down facing dog. Inhale as you roll through the spine, planching through and then dropping the hips towards the floor and coming up into Cobra. So option to take it down to Sphinx if that's too much on your lower back. Just take a moment or two to just open up that front body, squeeze the glutes, point the toes, squeeze the inner thighs, support that lower back and then think about pressing the ground away, opening up that front body, pulling the shoulders back and down away from the ears. As you exhale now, push back to your extended child's pose. Forehead to the floor, reaching the hands forwards. Take a nice deep breath in. Feel the upper back expand, and as you exhale, relax. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale. So from here, we're going to scoop the chest through the floor and come up into Cobra or Sphinx. So as you inhale, think about looking forwards to the front of that mat, scooping the chest, keeping nice and low all the way through, and then pushing up into that Cobra and then exhaling as you sit back to extended child's pose. We're just going to do two more of those. So inhale to scoop, press up into cobra or sphinx, exhale, push back into extended child's pose. Last one, inhale to scoop all the way through, press up 
into Cobra. And then tuck the toes as you exhale, tuck the toes and press up into Down Facing Dog. Pedal out the feet once more. We're going to come into our Lizard Lunge. So finding yourself in Down Facing Dog, take a nice deep breath in, exhale, push the heels towards the floor. And then on the next inhale, we're going to step right foot outside of right hand. Dropping the back knee to the floor, think about reaching the heart forward, so roll those shoulders back and down, chest comes through the arms, eye gaze forwards, really reach everything forwards. With the knee, you can send the knee out to the side, keep the toes twist, uh, glued to the floor, and you can even bring that knee further forwards if you want to. Using that left or right hand, sorry, you're going to press that knee away, and just take a couple of deep breaths, feeling the stretch in the groin. Keeping that eye gaze forwards. It's very tempting to look down. I know I do it every time. And then when you're ready, with that left, with that right hand, sorry, you're going to inhale to lift and twist, reaching that hand up and back, feeling that stretch in the arm and the chest. And then exhale as you take that elbow toward the floor, tap it down, and then inhale to lift and twist. So we're just doing three elbow taps to the floor. Opening up that groin, opening up that hip. And then coming back to that lizard lunge position. So option to stay here or option to take now a twist, taking that right hand back to left foot, bring that heel in towards the glute. If you need to narrow your stance to reach the foot, that's absolutely fine. You can step back slightly, grab a hold of that foot, pulse it a few times, and then hold it in toward the glute. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, exhale release, replace the hand, step back to down facing dog and we're going to uh, switch to the other side. So left foot is going to come outside of left hand, dropping that back knee to the floor, reaching the heart forwards, roll those shoulders back and down, chest comes through the arms, eye gaze forwards and again just take that left hand to that knee if you need to shuffle forwards and get a deeper stretch by letting that knee come all the way over the toes and out to the side, that's fine. Just keep those toes glued to the floor. Just take a moment there to open up the body, feel the posture. One more deep breath all the way in, and then we're going into those elbow lifts and taps. So we're going to inhale as we lift that left hand up and back, feel that stretch in the chest and the arm, and then exhale, tap that elbow to the floor. Inhale to lift and twist, exhale, tap the elbow to the floor, last one, inhale to lift and twist, exhale, elbow to the floor. Replace the hand, come back into that lizard lunge position and then option to stay here or option to take that hand back to the left foot, so right hand, sorry, no, left hand to right foot, bringing that heel in towards the glute, pulsing it a few times, remember to shuffle backwards if you need to with the stance. And then holding for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release. Step that hand back to the, the mat. Step the foot back to down facing dog. Pedal out the feet and we'll take a body flow. So inhale, roll forward, drop the hips, look up, find cobra. And then this time as we exhale, we're going to pull back into heart melting pose. So not quite as deep as puppy pose. We're going to bring our chest towards the floor. Don't worry if your chest doesn't reach the floor. You can bring your forehead to the floor or chin to the floor instead. Just think about dragging back into the hips through the arms, feeling that stretch, opening up that upper back, opening up the heart towards the floor. Just take a few deep breaths. Feel that stretch in the upper back as well. And then last deep breath all the way in. And then as you inhale, come back up onto your uh, hands and knees. Take the hands back to the front two corners of the mat. Tuck the toes, press back into your down facing dog. From here, inhale as you lift your right leg up high to the sky, bend at the knee, open up that hip, play with that hip twist. Open up that hip flexor and then swing that leg through as you exhale, plant it between the hands and come into a low lunge. So knee should be stacked on top of ankle, roll those shoulders back and down, eye gaze forwards, and then think about sinking as you exhale into that left hip flexor. Feel that stretch. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. 
One more deep breath all the way in again. Exhale. And then as we inhale, we're going to lift that back knee off the floor, straighten that front leg, coming into pyramid pose. So think about reaching the body forwards, nose towards toes, and then exhaling to fold into pyramid. Take another two deep breaths in. Exhale, and then keeping that right hand, or sorry, left hand grounded, you're going to inhale to lift and twist with the right hand up towards the ceiling into a revolve triangle pose. Option to drop the back knee to the floor and keep that front leg twisted if that's too much for you with the knee lifted. So pick your pose or progression and then just take two more deep breaths wherever you're at. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release that hand to the floor, step back to your down facing dog and we'll take a body flow before moving on to the other side. So inhale, roll forward, drop the hips, look up, find cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. This time left leg goes high to the sky, three leg down facing dog, bend at the knee, find that scorpion or hip twist. Open up, play with that hip flexor and then when you're ready, exhale as you swing that leg through Planting it between the hands, the foot between the hands, dropping the back knee to the floor, finding your low lunge position. Roll those shoulders back and down, eye gaze forwards, take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, feel that stretch in that right hip flexor this time. Two more deep breaths all the way in. Last deep breath. Exhale completely, and as you inhale, lift that back knee off the floor, straighten that front leg, reach your nose towards toes as you draw that body over that leg and feel that stretch in the back of the hamstring coming into pyramid pose. Take two more deep breaths. And then on the next inhale, you're going to keep that right hand grounded. Inhale to lift and twist with the left hand into that revolved triangle. Or of course, taking it down into that low half splits twist if you want to. So wherever you're at, pick your progression and take two more deep breaths. Exhale, release that hand to the floor. Step back to down facing dog. Pedal out the feet. And then we'll just take one more body flow. So inhale, roll forward, drop the hips, look up, find cobra. Exhale, sit back to extended child's pose. We'll just take a couple of deep breaths here. Focusing on expanding through that upper back as you inhale, feeling the shoulder blades separate. And then slowly, after this final deep breath, we're going to all come up onto our hands and knees, swivel ourselves around and come into a seated position on the mat. We're going to come into seated figure of four. So taking the feet out in front of you, you might want to just slide back slightly. Right ankle is going to cross over left knee and then you're going to scoot the bum in toward the heel again, finding that figure of four shape with the legs, reaching the heart forwards so that your chest comes in towards the shin. So walk yourself in as far as you feel comfortable. Find that nice upright position, send that knee away from the body and just take three deep breaths, getting into the hips, the glutes. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then slowly walk the body or walk yourself out of the pose, extend the legs again, unravel the legs, and this time left ankle goes across right knee. Scoot the bum in towards the heels, find that nice upright position in your figure of four shape, really reach that chest towards shin, and just take another three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. 
exhale, and then slowly unravel yourself. Coming into a seated position now on your mat. So legs are straight out in front of you, flex the toes back towards you, pull the fleshy bits of your bum out from underneath your sit bone, feel the ground beneath you. From here, think about lifting and lengthening through the crown of the head. As we inhale, extend the arms up, and then exhale to reach forwards, nose towards toes, reaching chest over thighs, and then allowing the head to hang. Just take five deep breaths. Inhaling to find length, exhaling to fall deeper, and you can make this dynamic if you want to, by just lifting and releasing, and then exhaling to lower and deepen the stretch. Two more deep breaths. and then slowly inhale as you come all the way back up into that seated position. Scoot your bum down towards your heels, come back on towards your backs. Bring your knees in towards your chest for Apanasana. Hugging the knees in tight, you can just rock from side to side. Massage that lower back. And then we're going to take a hold of the right knee. As we exhale, send the left leg all the way to the floor. And as you inhale, straighten that right leg up in front of you. Flex the toes back towards you. You can grab a hold of the thigh, the calf, or even hook the fingers around that big toe. And just gently pull that leg back towards you for a hamstring stretch. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in again. Exhale, release the hand from the foot, bend at the knee, taking the left hand to the outside of that right knee, you're going to draw that knee across the body, taking it over to the left, and then inhale to lift and twist your head to look toward the right. With the right hand, option to stay here, thinking about gluing that shoulder to the floor, or option to grab a hold of that left foot and take pretzel pose. So you're kind of in a twisted pretzel shape. Wherever you're at, take three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly release the hand from that foot. Bring the hands and the knees back up to centre. Find yourself back in the Apanasana curled up position with the knees towards the chest and just gently massage the back into the ground. I'm going to switch over to the other side now. So extend that right leg all the way to the floor as you exhale. With the left leg, send the leg as you inhale, the foot up towards the sky. Flex the toes back towards you and kick the heel in towards the ceiling. Taking a hold of the thigh, the calf, or hooking those fingers around that big toe, gently pull that leg back towards you and find that hamstring stretch. Take a couple of deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release that hand from that toe. Bend the knee slightly, taking the right hand this time to the outside of the left knee. Draw that left knee across to the right as you exhale and then inhale to lift and twist the head to look towards the left. Hand can go out, the left hand can go out at a, four, at a 90 degree angle, palm facing down, glue the shoulder to the floor, or you can grab a hold of that right foot Coming into that pretzel position again, try and keep those shoulders glued to the floor as you do this. Take three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly inhale as you bring your knees and your shoulders back or your body back to the center. Rock from side to side, hug your knees in tight. And then we're going to come into relaxation now. So if you need to head off to work and you'd rather skip the relaxation, you're more than welcome to just exit now. 
um, or if you'd like to stick around and just spend a few more minutes before the end of class, we're just going to extend the legs down and find ourselves in Savasana. So get comfortable on your mat. Your legs can be straight out in front of you. You can have your feet up by your bum with your knees bent wherever you need to be. You can put a jumper or blanket over you, even grab a pillow if you want to. And just take your attention to your breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just notice the flow of the breath within the body. And whenever you're ready, just take three deep inhales. Turn back to a regular rhythm of breathing. And just take a moment now to check in with your body, scan from head to toe. Are there any areas of tightness or tension? Could you maybe release those with your breath? And if you come across an area, take a deep inhale in. Send that breath to that area and then exhale to release. And keeping your attention on your breath, maybe following it with your mind's eye. Just enjoy a few more moments of stillness, ignoring any outside distractions, any outside thoughts. And if you find your attention drifts off, just bring your attention back to the breath, following it with the mind's eye, keeping your focus inwards. attention back into the room. Notice the sound of my voice. Notice the sounds of noises around you. And then maybe begin to add movement back into the body. So wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Maybe you want to take a big stretch overhead. Or maybe you want to hug your knees tight in towards your chest and rock from side to side. Do whatever your body is asking for you to do in this moment. What does your body need? And then whenever you're ready, just gently roll over onto the right side of your body and slowly come all the way up to seated. Finding yourself in the centre of your mat. Take a nice deep inhale all the way up as you reach the hands up above the head, palms together at the top, and as you exhale, hands to the forehead, kind thoughts, to the lips, kind words, to the heart, kind feelings. Namaste.